Okay, guys, so we're on to binary search. Um, I probably should have said last time, uh, I just wanted to be clear, just uh, going on, um, there's loads of different ways to do the same thing. Uh, in English, we say many ways to skin a cat. It's um, because we're psychopaths. Actually, it's to do with shipping and stuff, but still. Anyway, so there's lots of different ways to solve the same problem. What I'm giving you now, or what I'm giving you in these videos, is just one possible way. You still have to be able to adapt and think about why they're doing certain things or if they've changed certain things. Um, and so just memorizing the algorithms is going to help you, but you still need to be able to move on from there. Uh, likewise, I don't want to go too deep into the theory. Um, I just want to kind of show you how to actually program it, but we will do a tiny bit of theory as well. Okay, so binary search. Now, very important for binary search, the... Do, 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 the data or the array must be sorted okay so that's that's the prerequisite for a binary search so unlike linear search we must have the data in order so here is my array and below are the indexes and so we are going to use this to try and work out um what we're doing. So we're going to find something that we want to find in the array, because that's the whole point in searching. Uh, so let's say I'm looking for the number 5. Okay, so I'm looking for the number 5. So what I have to have is I've got to have a lower bound, so I'm going to call it lower, and that starts at 0, and I'm going to have an upper, and that starts at the length of the array minus 1, which is going to be 9. And then I have to have the midpoint, and this is where the magic happens. All right, so the mid, or the middle, or whatever you want to call it, mid, stop, auto-correcting me, stupid Google, <laughs> uh, equals, so how do we work out the middle value? Well, you get a little bit of math to do here. So we're going to add the upper plus the lower. Now, remember, because of uh, bidmas, PEMDAS, whatever you want to call it, we want to do that afterwards. And then we're going to not just divide, we are going to integer divide that number um, by 2. Okay, and in theory, that should give us the middle value. So let's throw up a little calculator here, just so we can see what's going on. Okay, so we've got the lower, which is 0, plus the upper which is 9 and then we're going to divide by 2 but we're going to ignore the remainder effectively so then our mid is going to equal 4. Okay so 9 as you'll see is going to be our midpoint and then we compare what we're looking for with the midpoint. Um, if it is the value, notice we're comparing the value not the index here, if the value 5 is the same as the value 9, then we found it. Otherwise, we say, well, what uh, side of the array is going to be containing the 5? So I've went to the 9, so I know that this side of the array must contain the 5. So effectively, I can eliminate this whole other part of the array. Boom. Now notice I also erase the midpoint because I've checked that already. So there's no point in me continuing to have that in this array search. Okay, so what did I do there? Well, all I did was I found the side where the number would be, and it's either going to be on the lower side or the upper side. In this case, 5 is less than 9, so we know it's in the lower section, and therefore we have to move the upper to the mid minus 1, which is going to be uh, da, 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 mid minus 1 is 3. So now we have a new um, upper lower, which is 3 and 0. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to recalculate the mid. So this time I've got 0 plus 3 equals divided by 2. 1.5, which we've said we will always round down to 1 because we're integer dividing. Okay, so 1 is going to be the number 3. So our new midpoint is 1. 
Okay, now is the mid equal to 3? No, it is not. So therefore, we look at our array and we say on which side of the array is it going to be? Well, it's going to be on this side of the array because 5 is greater than 3. So we can eliminate, again, including the midpoint, we can eliminate this half of the array. And then that leaves us 5 and 6. And again, we're going to recalculate the mid and so on. But the lower has become, we've erased uh, 1, so the lower is going to become 2. Our new mid will be 2 plus 3 divided by 2 gives us 2.5, which means our new mid is 2, which is here. And this time we have found our correct result. Yay! Okay, so now we need to take that. Um, um, actually, I think I'll just do it as a separate video for, for the sake of ease. But um, I'll maybe do the theory first and then the, the other parts if I'm going to be nattering on so long. Uh, next video will be on the how we actually implement this. See you in a wee bit.